Good evening. We begin tonight with an exclusive report on the Perth public servant paid more than $1 million to do nothing. Peter Wagers goes to work every day to sit in an empty office. The education department psychologist says his life is in limbo because his reputation was smeared by the Claremont serial killer investigation and never cleared. The former Claremont mayor wants $10 million in compensation. Liam Bartlett reports. <laughs> Why shouldn't I be paid my salary? I'm a permanent public servant. I've worked loyally and hard for four decades. Why shouldn't I be paid my salary? Meet the man who is being paid a salary for doing nothing. Every day for the past 10 years, Peter Wagers has turned up for work, turned on the lights and taken his seat in an empty office. The education department pays this child psychologist more than $100,000 a year to see no children. Oh, I don't see anybody now. Nobody? Nobody. Not one? Not one. Essentially, Wagers is subsidised by the taxpayer to sit around and read books. So far, over a million dollars and counting. A bizarre scenario that began in 2004 with this. Mr Wages initially did not consent and the relevant authorisation was granted and DNA has been taken from Mr Wages. It was the most public of police searches. Officers from the Macro Task Force, looking for the Claremont serial killer, searched every inch of Peter Wages' home. The former Claremont mayor could only watch on as forensic officers scoured his property. If you were a parent and you'd seen visage of me as being the accused serial killer in Claremont, would you want your child seen by someone like me until I've had a clearance from the, the state? But Wagers has never had an official clearance. The macro inquiry refuses to discuss individual cases. So Wagers, along with another public servant, Lance Williams, have never been ruled out as suspects after police thrust them into the spotlight. Police also spent millions in resources on a round-the-clock surveillance operation on Lance Williams for some years. But the Cottesloe man has told Nine News he's been informed not to worry any more about looking in his rearview mirror. Wagers says it's all payback for his time as Civil Liberties Council president and a smear that the Education Department has used to keep him in limbo. Well, I suppose it's called risk management these days, isn't it? Well, let me put it to you straight. Are you a risk? No, of course I'm not. I'm no risk to anybody. Have you ever killed anybody? Never. <laughs> Have you ever done anything wrong? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> Never been charged? No. Have you got a criminal record? No. no. I've never done anything other than good. The Education Minister, Peter Collier, says he can't comment on the case. He can't interfere. The Education Department is also ducking for cover. You see, despite accusing Wagers of workplace harassment and losing its case in the Industrial Commission three times, after all these years, the Department is still unwilling to explain why he's not allowed to see students. I want to see a public apology. You want a public apology? Yes, from the top down, from the Premier and the Police Commissioner and the Education Department Director. And at least $10 million? At least. Liam Bartlett, Nine News.